In the shadow of Baltimore's skyline. You come to UMBC to learn how to learn with intensity, with passion. Sits a campus of change makers. After we make our final compound. And scientists working on solutions to some of our nation's problems. Doing work that I felt was going to make a difference somewhere. The University of Maryland, Baltimore County just earned the distinction of a research one institution. The national recognition is given to universities for its high rate of doctoral degrees and research dollars. According to a university spokesperson, UMBC secured more than $200 million in research grants last year alone. This accomplishment is the result of the work of a lot of people. Dr. Freeman Rabowski is set to retire. He's been president of UMBC for 30 years. His vision, transforming this once small school to a sought-after university. It's Meyerhoff Scholars Program mentors and produces the most black engineers and scientists in the country. It gives me a lot of confidence that when I go forth into the world, um, I go forth looking for opportunities into research, I'm well prepared. We've always been, for many years, at the top level for science. We're in the top 20 for funding from NASA. And now Dr. Rabowski says the investment in humanities and social sciences has helped elevate the school to this national stage. But its spotlight remains on its origin story, a middle-class institution founded in 1966 on the virtues of grit and greatness. We are the only campus founded at such a time that students of all races could come here. And that has been a driving force, inclusive excellence. There are 146 R1 institutions nationwide, three right here in Maryland. Johns Hopkins, University of Maryland College Park, and now UMBC. In Baltimore County, Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.